uh, they are asking about find find the interval of existence of the solution of the given initial value problem in that given domain this is the special thing given to you otherwise just go back and recall what you had in your hand that dy dx it was earlier fxy where the initial condition y at x0 it was prescribed as y0 and you have for your domain it was given x minus x naught less or equal to uh, your a and y minus y naught it is less or equal to b where a and b these are finite constants but here they are also providing the same thing but it in the different manner look at x y such that x lies between this part that means x is going to be strictly greater than 0 and it may be equal with 0 so there is some restriction for x that means the negative part it is not going to be considered in the answer and mod of y less or equal to b so there is also a restriction for y and a should be greater than how b is greater than 0 that is the scenario fine now look at here in this problem your f is nothing but y square plus cos square x so it is continuous function in that given domain as well as if you simply check del f del y then obviously you can find that it is 2y and it has no problem in the given domain so it is continuous in that domain fine two hypotheses are satisfied now we can proceed further that means the solution will exist in the interval in the interval in the interval and what is the interval it is x minus x naught less or equal to h where h is given by minimum of our a comma b by m this m is the maximum of that given function or the maximum value of that given function in the domain fine now just simplify here look at x naught x naught means obviously x naught means zero so it is less than h so you can simply write mod of x less or equal to h but look at in the given domain there is a restriction for x look at it is strictly greater than 0 or equal with 0 no negative part that means from here you will get this part this part but just look at because of that restriction it reduces to the interval reduces to like this way isn't it clear now just only job is to find the value of h so let's proceed further because of that h you need to calculate this minimum of these two quantity that means minimum of h means minimum of a comma b by m and this m look at this was our f so f x y it is y square plus cos square x and simply take the modulus both side you will have y square you are already familiar with this kind of treatment we have earlier in the videos we have used this kind of technique again and again so you have this stuff in your hand and it is given in the question that mod of y less than equal to b so you can use here and mod of cos x obviously less than 1 so immediately you will get b square plus 1 obviously it can be it can be less or equal so the maximum value of f in that given domain it is going to be b square plus 1 so it is going to be b square plus 1 fine now look at now your next job is to check the minimum of these two quantities clear for that purpose here it is a straightforward rule that whenever this kind of thing appears in front of you 
you just take it and rename it some function of here it is obviously b so some function phi of b and then try to find its maximum value and you will get for that purpose you need to just differentiate it and you will get b square minus 1 by b square plus 1 just do the calculation hmm. and again you need to find the double derivative there will be some sort of expression you just perform the calculations here and to find the maximum or minimum value just need to phi dash p need to set this one equal with 0 and from here you will get b equal to plus minus 1 and for b equal to plus 1 for b equal to plus 1 you will get you will get the maximum value of phi b for that purpose at b equal to plus 1 you just check the sign of phi double dash b it is just the class 12th level knowledge you are just using here so at b equal to 1 you simply check phi double dash b and it will turn out to be less than 0 so you can say at b equal to 1 phi attains its maximum value and that maximum value that means phi of 1 it is going to be half isn't it it is going to be half so minimum of a comma half okay you got the idea here this part b by b square plus 1 you just simply rename it by phi b and simple procedure you have followed from your plus 12 level knowledge and you got the maximum value of that function as half and you just need to uh, find the minimum of these two quantities a comma half look at a was your greater than half so what will be minimum of these two quantity obviously it is going to be half isn't it clear that means now come here that means h is your half so it is going to be 0 less than e x less than equal to half so this is going to be your interval that means 0 comma half it is going to be your interval of existence of the solution for given initial value problem this is the whole scenario clear so simply you need to follow this kind of steps later on but this is the whole scenario so this was for today's video and if you find something helpful from this video then please like and share with your friends so that it can reach maximum number of students and students get benefited for the competitive exam via this channel okay and if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe this maths battle and stay connected with us thanks a lot